Hello, my name is Stevie Martin with the VIA Service Building Engineering Team. This video will go into how to set up on the VIA or Communication Manager, the Adjunct Switch Application Interface, or ASAI, that allow linkage between the VIA or Communication Manager and the Agile Communication Environment. For Ace Release 6.2, one of the key capabilities was added was the ability to directly integrate the Ace server into the VIA or Communication Manager using the ASAI adapter. In this video, we'll take a step-by-step -step look at the configuration requirements on the VIA or Communication Manager. Detailed instructions on how to set up this linkage between the Communication Manager and ACE are detailed in the VIA Agile Communication Environment Service Provider Administration document that's available on http support.avaya.com. Prior to beginning, you need to ensure you have the IP address of the Communication Manager. You need administrative level access to the Communication Manager at the command line interface. You need the IP address of the Agile Communication Environment. And you need administrative level access to the server. Our first step is to access the Communications Manager SAT terminal. Once you log into the command line interface, set your terminal to VT100. Once you've entered this, enter SAT at the command line interface. In this screen, we are entering a terminal type of W2KTT. Please verify before you start if this is the terminal type you should use for your installation. Once we have accessed the command line of the SAT terminal, we want to verify communication manager license permissions. We do this by running the command display, system parameters, customer options. This will bring up the optional features display and this display consists of multiple pages of parameters that are available for customer configuration. The SAI link options will be on page 3 of the display. We access page 3 by using the escape and the letter N keys in combination. Note that the ASI link parameters are license controlled. Please verify for VIA that you have the necessary license agreements to enable these parameters. If the ASAI link parameters are not set to yes, contact the personnel that have permission to activate the SAI links using the license agreement from Avaya. Once the parameters are activated, we are ready to configure the AE services on the Communication Manager for ACE. Our next step is to verify that the AE services have been configured on the Communication Manager, and if not, we will need to do the configuration ourselves. At the sent command line, if you enter the command change space IP services, you bring up the first page of the IP services screen. This first page is where the AE service type is to be configured. In this example, the AE service type has been created and enabled already. So what we'd want to do here is we want to note the IP services local port for our next step. In this step, we will want to configure the ACE AE services on the communication manager. We will enter an Avaya A server name and password. These values will need to match exactly what we enter on the A server at a later stage. At the set command, enter change IP services. This brings up the IP services window we were in earlier. Use the escape and end keys to move forward to page 3 of the screen. Once we get to page 3 of the services window, under the AE services column, we want to enter a name for the Avaya A server and press enter. It's generally a good practice to use the alias for the A server, but it's not a requirement. Under password, we will enter a password for the A server. Be sure to write this down and then press enter. Under enabled, we will enter yes and press enter. Then use escape and the letter E to save and go back to the stat command line. Our last step on the communication manager is to add the computer telephony integration or CTI link. The CTI link number that we are adding on the Communication Manager we will use on the ACE server to complete our configuration. At the set command line, enter list CTI link. This will bring up a list of CTI links that are currently on, being used on the Communication Manager. What we want to do is choose the next available link number. We have determined that the next available link is link number 2. What we want to do next is at the set command line, enter add CTI link to number 2. In the extension field, we want to use any extension that's currently not been used on the Communication Manager. For our type, we want to use ADJ-IP. 
We do not touch the port field. In the name, we just is a description of the link. It's usually a good practice to use the name you created in the uh, previous step for the AE services. All the rest of the fields are default. You do escape E to save and go back to the set command line. This completes our setup steps on the via or communication manager. From this point on, we'll move to the A server, and on the A server, we can finish our configuration linking the communication manager and the A server together. The first step on the via A server is to verify that the communication manager's SSL certificate authority is trusted. This is an important procedure that is common for the communication manager and the via CS1K server. This step has been recorded and posted separate. And you can find it by going to HTTP YouTube Avaya Mentor. And after you bring up Avaya Mentor section of YouTube, you do a search on how to configure the Avaya or Communication Manager SSL Sign On Authority as trusted on Avaya Ace. We have come to the final part, which is actually adding an Avaya Aura ASI service provider on the Ace server. Before we do that, we need to verify that we had information that we created in the previous steps on the Communication Manager. We need the IP address of the Communication Manager, the port defined for the AE services on the Communication Manager, the AE server name and password that we defined on the Communication Manager, and the last step we just did, the CTI link number that we defined on the Communication Manager. On our AE server, we need the IP address of the AE server and administrator level login and password. We will not be adding any translation rules as part of this procedure. It is not required to bring up the link between the Communication Manager and the ACE server and can be done at any time after the link is up and running. Once you've logged into the Agile Communication Environment, you want to go to the Tools at the top of the screen and select Configuration and Service Providers. This will take you to the Service Provider Configuration window. You want to select Add to add a new Service Provider. In the Service Provider window, you want to select Avaya Aura. And in the Name field, you want to enter a descriptive name for the Communication Manager on the ACE server. Also, if you wish, you can select the Disable checkbox which would allow you to add Service Provider in a disabled state. You can ignore the pop-up that comes up here because we're not using SIP as a um, signaling type. We'll be using an ASAI link. Under Signaling, Select ASAI. The next step will be to add the IP address of the communication manager we're establishing our connection with. Note that for this release, using the fully qualified domain name, the FQDN is not supportive of via Aura ASI service provider. The next step is to add the A server name and password that you created in the previous step. Also, while you're doing this, note that the port is default to 8765. If you did not use this default port, you would want to change it as well. We also want to enter the CTI link number that defined in the step just prior to this one. When you do this, you will click Next. This next task is the translation rules, which we won't be doing for this procedure. We click Submit. And this will add the service provider to the ACE server. You should see under provider status that you're an in in-service. As shown in the step just completed, the ACE server considers the link to be up and in service. But we want to verify this on the communication manager as well. We need to go back into the command line interface of the communication manager and enter another SAT session. From the command line, we enter status, AE Services CTI Link. In the screen that comes up, we want to note the CTI link that we added on the ACE server, in this case, CTI Link 2. And under Service State, we see this established. This verifies that both in the link, consider link up and in service, and you completed this procedure. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoradavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing to buy it.